Yo everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can build a clean and advanced trading journal inside Notion. You would be able to track your trade in a detailed list view of whatever properties you want. The pair, the session, the date, the bias, the point of interest, all of that. The best part about this is that I will also teach you how you can link this to a calendar view so you can also see the dates, the week and the month that you took this particular trade. Now, the name of the app you're going to be using to achieve this is called Notion. Now, you can download this on your Microsoft Store or you can download this on your App Store if you're using a MacBook. Now, let's begin with this tutorial. Now, the first thing you're going to do is to head over to this place and tap on new page. Do you understand? You're going to be creating a new page now. Obviously, the name for this page is going to be, uh, we are going to name this trading journal. Okay, then we're going to tap on enter. Now, the next thing we're going to do now is to put in this slash then view. Now we're going to be choosing this table view. Do you understand? Notes, you can personalize this however you want it. Do you understand? So now let's just name this. Um, uh, let's just name this list overview. Do you understand? So now for the first thing, the first one, anyhow you want it, do you understand? So let's just name this um, pair. You can easily put this anyhow you want it. Do you understand you can put this as um you can put a uh, icon anyhow anyone you want so let's say you want to use this okay it looks good we can name this let's let's name this usd jpy so now property um so for the next property we're going to be using date do you understand to note you can personalize this anyhow you want it do you understand so now let's choose in the date you want to use so, Today is 28th of July, so I'm going to be putting this note. You can put in any date you want. So for the next one, we are going to be using, um, let's say we want to use bias. Do you understand? Notes, you can personalize this anyhow you want. Do you understand? So let's say then you choose select. Do you understand? So let's, let's do this. Okay, so tap here. Then you go to edit properly. Then you go here. Then you choose maybe so. As for me, this this one I'm gonna do. Then you hit enter. Then the next one you choose buy. You hit enter. So now you've probably done this. You get so I've named it bias. You get so you come here, you tap on it, and you tap maybe okay. I want to buy. Now notes you can personalize it however you want. Do you understand? So let's say for for an instance, I want this to be green. Okay, let's say green. I want this to be red, obviously because it's so. Do you understand? So I can easily just do this. Do you understand? And choose maybe buy. Do you understand? So now as you can see, it's, it's green, do you understand? So for the next one, we're going to be using, call it POI, do you understand? You can do this however you want, do you understand? But for me, I'm going to be using POI because I call this point of interest according to the way I trade, do you understand? So um, let's say, okay, for instance, so let's say we're, we're going to be using select, do you understand? So now we're going to select how we trade, do you understand? So as for me, um, as for me, I trade break of structure and I trade with market structure sheet. Do you understand? So that's how I find my entries with other block. Do you understand? So now I'm going to be using, I'm going to be putting MSS and um, BOS. I'm sure we all know the, the meaning of this. Do you understand? I'm going to tap this. Do you understand? So now I'm going to choose, I'm going to come here, POI. I'm going to use POS. You can see break of structure. Do you understand? So now for the next one, we are going to be using. Now we're going to be using outcome. Do you understand? It's very easy. Let's say outcome. That means we want to know whether as a as a loss or a win. Do you understand? What you know if it's a loss or a win you get? So. So now we're going to use outcome. We're going to go to select note. You can do this however you want. Do, do you understand? I'm just doing this based on the way I do my. Do you understand? There are so many options. Do you understand? So now let's let's come here. Okay. Obviously, we're going to be using win, loss. Now, obviously, this one has to be, um, we have to do the colors, do you understand? So for the loss, we're going to use red. Obviously, loss is red, do you understand? So win, we're going to use green because green is good. You got so red, so win, yeah, so let's go. So now we are going to use the outcome. We're going to choose loss, do you understand? Let's say we lost this particular trade. 
so for the next column we're going to be using risk to reward because this is where i want mine to be no two, you can do it exactly how you want do you understand so now i'm going to be putting this as risk to reward do you, do you understand and trust me this would this would help you with your psychology do you understand so now it will make you look for too much risk to reward do you understand so like this now it can help you your psychology do you understand so now i will try my best to make this okay so let's say i'm a trader now okay and i trade one to three one to four one to five do you, do you understand but sometimes i get greedy do you understand so now what i'm going to be doing now is that i'm going to put one two three enter one two four enter one two five enter one two six okay now i'm going to be saying okay this is my risk to rewards i'm going to be trading throughout this month i'm not going to trade below this i'm not going to trade above this if it does not give me risk to rewards i've around this range i would not trade it very easy to understand so now what i'm, what I'm going to do now is to come here and choose how my trade went okay let's say my trade went to one to six weeks to reward very easy do you understand so that way i've gotten that do you understand so now here's the funny part do you understand so now what, what i'm going to be doing now is to put um url you can see it's very easy you guys then let me name this do you understand so let me name, name this to charts do you understand so now it's very easy just come here you got to as you can see so now we're going to be copying the link from our chat do you understand and pasting it is very easy so now once you get into your chat you can just come here tap on this and copy the link do you understand and you can go back to your chat do you understand and tap here no you tap here you come here you come here and you paste it do you understand down now once you now once you tap here and you paste it you just click enter do you understand so now so now let me show you an instance you guys. So once I tap on it, you can see it's gonna take me directly into the page where I'll see my chart. So this way, if you analyze or you keep your trades this way, you understand, you can easily review how it went that month. So now I think I've showed you guys how, how you can go about this. You can easily create a new page and continuously do this. You get so let's say you want to put in another date, you can put in like this. You get it's very easy. You just fill in this, fill in this, you understand? So now I'm gonna be showing you how you can turn this into the calendar form I showed you earlier in the video. So now what we're gonna be doing now is to add a new form. Do you understand? So I'm gonna tap here and tap calendar. It's very easy, do you understand? It's not hard at all. You get so now you can see it has brought us to the exact page you understand it guys now it has brought us to where it wants us to be do you understand so now what we're going to be doing now is tap on done do you understand so now let's go to properties and visibility you guys so now in case i want my dates to show i can put in my dates i can put in my bias i can put in my outcome do you understand but this is exactly how i want mine to be do you understand so let, let me remove the dates because i don't like dates in my trade do you understand i can put in point of interest do you understand and reach to what you understand this can just be how i want my ab you get so i'm exactly i've shown you how you can go about this now if you want to edit this you understand you can easily come here you understand and tap on property visibility and put in the one you want you understand so now this is very very easy now now if you want to do this on your phone you can comment phone and, and i'll be telling you how you can do this on your phone in the next video and now if this was ever for you please subscribe to the channel because we are trying to gonna create more content right here that's helpful for you guys and if you want a tutorial on anything you can put it down in the comment section and i'll try my best to review it and create a video in a few days do you understand so have a nice day and happy weekend